Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Peace be upon you all. My name is Zainab Ibrahim. I'm a I'm from Portland, Oregon, and I'm a psychology major. Assalamu alaikum, all. I'm Muhammad Faizan. I'm from New York City, and I'm a chemistry and religion double major. The Quran reads in the chapter of the women, verse 135. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كونوا قوامين بالقسط شهداء لله ولا ولو على أنفسكم أو الوالدين والأقربين إن يكون غنيا أو فقيرا فالله أولى بهما فلا تتبعوا الهوى أن تعدلوا وإن تلووا أو تعرضوا فإن الله كان بما تعملون خبيرا أو oh, يهو believe Uphold justice and bear witness to God, even if it is against yourselves, your parents, or your close relatives. Whether the person is rich or poor, God can best take care of both. Refrain from, the, refrain from following your desires so that you can act justly. If you distort or neglect justice, God is fully aware of what you do. Upholding justice for others is a foundational quality of a good person in Islam. When we learn of what Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch call Israel's apartheid against Palestinians, or the genocide of Uyghur Muslims by China, or the political conflict in Sudan that kills its people and takes their water and power, or the humanitarian crises in countries like Yemen, Somalia, and Syria, we cannot turn a blind eye. If we want to be good people, we must want to support causes that target such injustices. Even on our campus, we should not have allowed the recent racialized hate crimes that endangered the safety and sense of security of black students, faculty, and staff to pass without real consequence. This is just one example of the many injustices that a good person would confront and strive to prevent in the future. Anas ibn Malik, may God be pleased with him, narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, help your brother whether he is an oppressor or an oppressed. A man said, O God's messenger, I will help him if he is oppressed, but if he is an oppressor, how shall I help him? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, by preventing him from oppressing others, for that is how to help him. To me, the mark of a good person is standing up to injustice and advocating for the oppressed. To follow that up, I'll start with a hadith. Abu Dhar reported God's messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may God bless him and grant him peace, as saying that Allah the exalted and glorious said, O my seekers, I have forbidden oppression for myself, and I have made it forbidden amongst you, so do not oppress one another. Upon embracing the message of Islam that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his closest companions to advocate for the downtrodden, especially, for example, the infant girls who would be often buried alive, the earliest Muslims were persecuted some even killed. And this stands as a truth that from its beginning, Islam has stood as a beacon of support for those stripped of power, offering strength and resilience to those oppressed. Piety in Islam, in instance, extends beyond mere devotion. It encompasses active engagement in the pursuit of justice, equality, and empowerment. I mean, this is rather significant and personal to me, personally, because of my deep involvement in the Muslim Student Union here at Williams College. In the MSU, we recognize that goodness demands action and serves as a voice for those who may not be able to speak up. That's why Zainab and I immersed ourselves in many initiatives for equitable housing, accessibility to halal options on campus, and even advocating for a full-time Muslim chaplain position, leading to a community enriched by Sidra's presence. Through our advocacy, we have transformed the campus experience for our fellow students. To follow that up, Anas bin Malik, reported that the Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, said, if the final hour comes while you have a sapling of a plant in your hand, and it is possible to plant it before the hour comes, you should plant it. At Williams, our sapling was and is advocacy, an embodiment of proactive engagement. Indeed, our endeavors, no matter how small, can leave an ind indelible mark of compassion and justice for generations to come. So to answer a prompt, what does it truly mean to be a good person? Advocacy, ad advocating against injustice and inequity, and advocacy for all. Thank you. <laughs>